Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays The Witcher 3. Today, well we're on this island, and we're gonna come over here, I think. Cause it's the only question mark in this area, and since we're here, why not, right? We'll probably get one on the way back as well. So we never came to this area, huh, before? I know we came up to around this area, definitely for that boat, I believe. Oh no, maybe it was over here? No. Maybe, I don't know. I feel like I would have gotten this if I came up here. Well, we definitely were there before, but... Huh. Oh, well, there's the lighthouse that Triss and I uh, christened, I guess is a nice way to put it. Bumped uglies is a less nice way to put it. Going up there. Oh, another... The lighthouse? Can I summon Triss? Oh hi! <gasps> Drown dead. That's not the one I wanted. Ow! Burn. Okay. All right. Great. Nope. That's a grave hag. God, you guys are so like tanky these days. That's fine though, because fire does a lot more damage and it's safer. Even when I'm not spec towards it. Which is kinda silly. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Fire! This is abandoned sight, huh? Cool. You guys better not despawn because I'm going to need, hopefully, your red mutagens. Like, seriously, if it's not red mutagens, I'm going to be. Am I flying? Again? Oh no, I'm on a hill. Go me. Drop the red mutagens. That's the water hag. Ooh. Oh. Well, okay, good. So I need like one more, right? Hi, merchant man. How's it going? Greetings. I, apparently, I've already good seen your shit. I'm guessing you abandoned sight guys share a uh, inventory. Farewell. And you're uh, apparently a ghost. All right, cool. I'm gonna come up here and steal some stuff. I'm assuming you're all right with this, given that it's technically my land now. I liberated it. Up, please. So wait, like a bunch of you people live here now? I feel like this it. No, no, get up. I feel like this isn't a big enough place for multiple people to be living. I mean, it's a lighthouse. I'm sure one of you needs to be on duty for it. <laughs> duty. But also... Like, there's no beds. Are you sleeping outside? If I was, if I was a caretaker for a lighthouse, I feel like... You would have to give me an additional house outside that's nice and cozy, high speed internet. A main road somewhere close by that I could get to a store or at least deliveries could come to get me. All I'm asking for is a mansion in the middle of nowhere next to water like this that has access to, like, the highest speed internet ever. And delivery. That's it. And maybe, like, a seven-figure income for taking care of your lighthouse. Uh, meet Master Mirror at midnight at the crossbows, uh, crossroads beneath the willows. Cool. That's not ominous at all, by the way, just so we're clear. Uh, let's go ahead and meditate till midnight. 
Oh, we got a new um, armor, didn't we? Uh, I'm in the bestiary or encyclopedia glossary. What is this? Uh, new moon armor. It's ten better, but it doesn't have like the bonuses, right? Oh, never mind. Neither do mine. I need Grandmaster. I thought it was Mastercraft. Well, okay, this is completely disappointing. What's also even more disappointing is I have no money, so when we get to Grandmaster, or when I find Grandmaster, I'm not going to be able to afford it. I'm still kind of mad I gave 5,000 gold coins, whatever the hell they're called, crowns, to that guy, and they're not even that good. I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. We Memento didn't find her because of you. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay debts of gratitude. You call me a scoundrel? Elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me, one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? Oh, they're dead. Uh, it didn't help me, Storm did. I was counting on a more conventional help. You stumbled that storm, you a mage? You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess, you're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell okay, but like, you now. If, if it's not a spell, what is it? It's what does that qualify it as? Worse than most. It is a type of magic. Vulgar, Clearly, man with a heart of stone, a man who refuses to pay his debts. Okay. Do you think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. Um, that's the guy that sent us after the the frog dude. How did he wrong me? Did he know that that was the prince? I take it then. Is that where this is going? How do you know we'd met, and that I'm not exactly thrilled with him now? Please, Geralt. I knew the Ophiri had captured you. Was I not to know how this had come to pass? Olgier von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Okay, so he didn't know it was a cursed man. If I intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know I why sure I could have it? gotten out of that. Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? <laughs> he and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what it is. Are you a djinn? And now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks type of gin? obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some Also, muscle. if you can summon a storm, can't you muscle just do it yourself? Is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. I guess you might be lazy. Someone Relatable. You. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant, but... Do you have any Gwent cards? Mistake. I have many interesting wares on offer. Wares like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. All right, I'm in. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all women. I apparently already have that, and I don't know how. I offer a great. I mean, I have a Max Strom set. An experience Carol, like no other. This is fate. working on it, but he still gets it. Apparently, he has a supreme charm set. Sure sounds generous, and all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me. Just one. Honesty. All right. Um, what have you done for that guy? What did you do for Old Geard? 
Breaking Weird. out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. It was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. Olgi had appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail, his shirt moth-eaten. Seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help. And help I gave. Made him a rich man. Successful. Esteemed. He is who he is today. Thanks only to So me. is that actually his and manner? Afterwards. Was that actually his uh, daughter? Shunned me. Sends me off when I dare ask for payment. Even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. Okay, fair enough. Uh, how much was it? How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coy. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? That is a lot. Can I have that? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Olgird owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. Okay, so you're like a type of... Is it... Are you the devil? Is that where this is going? Are you after his soul? Uh, rather not get involved, I guess. You know what? This business, it's between you two. Rather not get involved. Before you decide, please... Hear me out. You shall see Olgird as a vile man. Well, I mean, if that or was his daughter and he was making her as rich. a servant, then yeah. A real son of a I will stab him freely. All right, what would I have to do? What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a, mm, how shall I put it, a proxy. Mm -hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Olgird had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet, we won't know what they are until we see him. Um... I don't like this at all. Uh, all seems a little shady. Your help, your pact with Olgird, his three requests. Think it over. I agree you've no a priori reason to trust me. But, as it happens, I was in the right place at the right time to help you. And it's also the case that the same man has wronged us both. To my mind, those are reasons to work together. To my mind, not so much. Come with me to see Olgird. You shall see he's a vile, dishonorable man. I mean, his crew does seem that way. Playthings. As he treated Honestly. yours when he sent you to find the Frog Prince. Huh. <sighs> um, so we have two options here. Though it didn't really sound like we had much of an option earlier because he saved us, right? He already made it. We're branded. So it already made it sound like we're indebted to him. He also is trying to take credit for us meeting Yennefer, even though Yennefer is the one that found us. Right? He told us that she we, we need to go to like the guards barrack. Right? If I if I remember correctly, I actually had this guy confused with the dude that taught us how to uh play Gwent when we were uh when we were talking with him. Because I was like, man, didn't you have glasses? No, that was the Gwent guy, the scholar dude. I think. That's the only thing I can think of, because that's the only other dude that we talked to in that in that place. Um, I could have just gone back and watched that episode. You're right. But I didn't. Um, but you were the other guy before... After? Before or after? One of those guys. But you told us that Gwent was like... We need to talk to the barracks. You didn't actually help us find Yennefer. 
she found us when we were done in White Orchard. Um, I mean, you might have had a play in that. Now, if this dude did know that the frog prince, toad prince, whatever his name was, was actually the prince of um, Ophir, I think that's what it was called, and didn't tell us, then yeah, that's pretty much setting us up to murder royalty again. Um, at the same time, it's, I guess, a trend at this point. Uh, huh. So this guy definitely is like a type of djinn then, right? If he's granting wishes, making packs. Probably not like the standard type of djinn that we dealt with with Yennefer earlier, right? Where you bind to a mage. And he also wants payment for his help, right? Which I'm assuming this is going to go with like soul territory. <sighs> I guess, I mean... I guess I'll help you. I honestly, I can't think of a reason other than just straight up not wanting to get involved with this dude to say no. But he did technically save us by summoning that storm, I would assume. And I'm assuming because of that and the brand on our face, we have to help you. Like even if I say no, you'll probably just do it. And I don't really like that guy's crew from before. And yeah, if he didn't know about that being, like, a person that's cursed, that's not cool. Could have helped them. And you're saying he's a vile, like, I'm, I'm assuming, look, not to judge a book by a cover here, but yeah, he definitely does seem the vile, dishonest type. Um, you know what? Fine. I'll do it. Fine. I'll go see all geared with you, but no promises. Oh, okay. That is all I ask. Now Thought I was green to help you. Mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. Okay. So whatever your pact is, it prevents you from doing it yourself. Right? Because if you can summon a storm to crash a ship like that, then you don't need my help. <laughs> like, taking care of this. But whatever the terms of your pact are, you can't actually do it. Right, you don't have... Roach? Roach? There you are. Dog, what the hell? Uh, yeah, there's no teleport sign there at the manor place. Which is kind of odd. It looks like a place that should have a telepad. But whatever. I've already... I've already said my gripes about fast travel in this game. So, okay, if this dude isn't a type of djinn and it's supposed to be, like, some sort of, like, devil-esque thing. I don't know. I mean, he, he, he would have to be some sort of fucking djinn, right? I guess. What the hell was that? Was that a Nilfgaard dude? I guess I could turn around and go check it out, but... We're already so far away. He kind of looked like a Grim Reaper dude. Level 9? Really? Oh, monster nest. Oh, arachnid phobia. Fine. Oh, you dick. Not good. Yeah, that is not good. Oh, wait, I have a skill point? 
Roach, just get out of here, man. Wait. Wait. So these guys... Can they put themselves out? Oh, dick. Dick. Ow, 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 ow. There's not like a big boy of you around here, is there? Not saying that I'm scared of the big ones. Just saying that the big ones were kind of assholes. Uh, that was a miss and a half. My food's not on. I don't think I have the proper oil on for this. Where's the insecticide? Maybe the insecticide's on? I mean, I guess in a game sense, they're not gonna make the two separate distinctions. But like, spiders are arachnids. They're not really... They're not insects, right? Is arachnid a type of insect? I don't actually think it is. Oh, that is a big one. That is a big boy. Ow. Oh, God. There's another big one over there? How did you miss all of that? Can you, can you maybe stop? Get in there. Ow. Mr. Chance. Uh, we're gonna die. No, we're not. Had healing. Okay. How did I fight the last one? I, like, rolled at it and threw fire at it. That's... Eventually, it stopped moving. Motherfucker. Oh, shit. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I dodged that. I dodged that. Quaylog. Yes, I'm well aware that I have toxicity in the city, all right? Okay. My god. Was there another one around here? I don't know why I was hopeful that you would give me red mutagens. Maybe because I'm just stupid at this point, expecting you all to give me red mutagens. You're being stuck on a tree. Oh, I need to repair my stuff. Well, I got repair stuff in there. Monster nest. Well, aware of that. With a dancing star or grape shot. We come in here. Um, you know what? We got a bunch of them, so there you go. There you go. And then the icons turn in the clothes. Perfect. Ah, Roach, thank you for teleporting in front of me. Always nice to see that. Come here. Come here. Hey ya. Why does that look like it's still active? Uh, no, it's not. Okay. Whoa there, Roach. Did they add these spider things to Hearts of Stone? Because I feel like we should have seen... Oh, there was a telepad here. Just not where I went. God damn it. You know what? I'll walk the rest of the way. I'm so sad right now. God damn it, Roach. Um, hello? 
All stink after three days. <laughs> What's going on? Oh. oh, I don't know why you make that noise. No stranger to the bottle, eh? No. Grub and hooch. Life in a nutshell. Well, look who's here. The Witcher with the fists of steel. What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a fiery pox. Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags on with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's all geared? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ate with yous! Drank with yous! Fought beside yous! And you kill me now! I'm one of yous! What's going on? But not no more, you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Calm down, let's talk. You know what? No, careful now. Tell you what's gonna happen now. I'll ask again, polite like, and you'll answer just as politely. And if I don't? Then I'll get angry, stop talking, and slaughter you all like swine. And I've so done that in the beat. past. Am I gonna hear why you wanna take his head, or not? Aren't you a thorny prick up the ass? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer, happy? Now piss off, we've work to do. Who's Ataman? Is that the old gear guy? What'd he do? Let me just okay. What did he do? Wait, I know old Geard wants him dead. Still don't know why, though. Just what the fuck is it to you, anyhow? Nothing really. Just curious. Well, I don't like innocent Cops people getting killed. violated our chivalric code. Just one penalty for that. Death. What is this row? Are you not done with it? My ears wither from the screams. Ah, Geralt, as you've returned, might I assume you've cleared the sewers? Or have you not been there? You killed my father! Not I. You lie, Horson! That man killed him. Alone. Unbeknownst to me. Out of fury. For your okay. father refused us hospitality. For this willful violation of the chivalry code, he was summarily executed himself. Anything else I might do for you? Take her away. So he deserved death, that's fine. Now, where were we? So you're immortal. Really necessary, that whole show? Ah, show? Come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. That's not true. They say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. So you're immortal. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest you wish be granted. For there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little can hurt you. So you take wild risks, chase extreme sensations, 
There comes a point you've done it all. It all seems but, but I take it like the tricks to plow through that moment. Hmm. Go further. Reach beyond what's known as possible. I uh, recognize as well. well. So you have a bunch of scars on you. So I'm assuming you don't heal like Wolverine or something like that, right? You're immortal, but you're still like if I cut off your head, you're just gonna be a talking head, right? You're not gonna regenerate. Like it definitely looks like you still scar over. Uh, recognize the mark? You know what this is? I cannot be certain, but I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. Uh, here for my reward. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If anything's left to chart, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gaunter or Dim. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must grant you three requests by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Rivia. That true? You knew about the prince? That true? You know the toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. All geared once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the crown prince of Ophir. All gear grew to hate. So this is recent? At first, he wished to kill him. Then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life in a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, O oh Dim. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Come. Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. Okay. Seemed like a private stat to me, rather than I get involved. You turned the prince into a toad? What he said about the prince. That true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Afiri Dofa ain't something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Yes, we have. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah, I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollered the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. Uh, you know only put me in danger. Could have told me the truth about the toad. Having a bit of fun at my expense. I simply wanted the beast dead. I could not know you would respond to the note. Why are we kneeling down near Your the horse's, horse's crotch? Yeah, I must admit, when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? He was a human being. That bloody Ethereum mutt was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. That uh, doesn't sound right, but all right. Seems like a private spat. This thing between you and Master Mirror, your quarrel, really rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him till you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never complete them. Not if you go mad trying. But try your best. <laughs> you don't know me that well. I'm already gold. mad. While I shall live in peace until Master Mirror finds another aide de camp. 
All right, what are your three requests? Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm, let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bosodi. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses? You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch! Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mount always looked fit for a parade. Okay. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him and show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine, seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then we shall speak of the third. Any helpful hints? I'm assuming hints not. Where I should go, how I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. All right, where will I find you? Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. The brother shouldn't be too hard. But the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough. Is he dead? Nice of you away from me. You waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgierd's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. All right. How am I supposed to bring him a house? Borsodi's house. No idea how I'm supposed to bring him that. Hmm. The only Borsodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenfurt. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take. I don't of have coin. I'm feeling it could come in handy. I gave my money to the rune right because I'm an idiot. Olgierd's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Uh, never agreed to necromancy. And necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's oh yeah, old-fashioned. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. I already released those. I need the blood of the summoned. Blood. True. Of the summoned, not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt, 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 aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von Everick blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. I mean, you could. The this is involving you. In these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Shani. All right, let's do this. Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. Can't wait. Say I need help. Where will I find you? I shall find you. Good luck, Geralt. Is there any way we can help the daughter here? Is she still around? Also, you said I could take anything I wanted from this place? Uh, is there anything here? <laughs> this was a nice house. Glare. 
Um, that's a shame. Ow, 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 ow. I'm on fire. Any chests? Nothing! Well, that's disappointing. All right, well... Where do I need to go? Talk to Shawnee about the Von Eric family crypt. Did I get two quests there? Open sesame. All right. Well, I guess I'll do the dead man's party first because it's lower level. That's generally how I do these things. Um, also, I need money, apparently, for the auction. <laughs> Which I hope that's not really the case because I don't have the money. I guess I could sell a bunch of stuff. If need be. I mean, I got almost 2,000 coin. I guess I could sell... I mean, we have one piece of armor that we found that I could probably sell for a couple hundred crown. A couple of weapons as well. There's gotta be some easy way to make money in this game. You all right? Beware the witch hunters. Okay. Ooh. Guess I could kill these guys and take their stuff. Uh, we'll see. All right. Let's go talk to Shawnee uh, next time. Thank you for watching. I will see you all then. Bye.